Hello and welcome to MyMiniMaths.co.uk video tutorials. And today we're going to be looking at rounding numbers to the nearest 10, 100, 1000 and 100,000. We have previously looked at different uh, approaches and different techniques that we can use to round numbers up or down. And if you need to uh, refresh on those different types of approaches and methods, um, if you go back to Monday's video tutorial, I can go through those with you again. So, first of all, on to question one, which is 75,443. And we're going to be rounding this to the nearest 1,000. So, the first thing we need to look at, labelling those columns. So the first one, the units, we have the tens, then the hundreds, thousands, and finally the ten thousands. And we're going to be rounding to the nearest thousand. So we're going to look at the digit next door. And just to recap, if we have a zero, a one, a two, a three, or a four, then our number rounds down or stays down as it is. It remains the same. Or if we have a five, a six, a seven, eight, or a nine, our number rounds up to the next digit. And in this question, we have a four, which means it stays down, so it stays as it is. So the five remains the same. So we're rounding it to, the, to 5,000 for that whole thousand, but don't forget to bring down and to include that 70,000 for 75,000 as our final answer for question one. And next we're on to question two, which is 46. I'm going to round this to the nearest 100. So the first thing we need to do, label the columns, units, tens, and because we're going to be rounding to the nearest hundreds, we're going to need to include the hundreds as well. And as we have nothing in the hundreds, we need to place a zero in here. So we're going to be rounding this number, as we've already said, to the nearest hundreds, which is this column here. And we're going to look next door. Okay, and it's a four, and if it's a zero, one, two, three, or a four, then that number rounds down, or it stays as it is. So therefore, this zero stays as a zero. It doesn't round up to 100, because clearly 46 comes before 50, which is halfway between the zero and the whole 100. So our answer is a simple zero. And next, we're on to question three, which is a larger number this time. 329,556. And as before, we need to label the, unit, the columns, so that's units, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and finally the last column, one hundred thousands. And I'm sure you've identified the importance of place value when rounding different numbers, especially these larger numbers. And we're going to be rounding this number to the nearest 10. So we look at the number next door, the digit next door, which is a six. So this time it's, is, it's five or greater, five, six, seven, eight or nine. So therefore this six makes the five or changes the five to a six for 60. There's our whole 10, because 56 is closer to 60 than it is to 50. And then we make sure we include all the, num the digits that come before for a final answer of 329,560. And finally, on to question four, which is 915,387. And again, we're going to label our columns, units, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and one hundred thousands. And we're going to be rounding this number to the nearest one hundred thousand. And 
as I'm sure you've, you can work out now that it doesn't matter where that digit is. We just look next door and it's a one. So again, zero, one, two, three, or a four means the number stays the same. So my number is remains as a nine. And then we follow it up with our zeros and we have 900 thousands. Okay, for the final answer of 900,000. Thank you very much for listening today and I look forward to, to speaking to you again to you again on Friday.